inside the house, you open up in the home and there's a closet to the left. You come into the living room, beautiful large window to the front. Like I said, it is nicely landscaped out there. Couple windows, a brick fireplace there. It actually is really nice and spacious in here. There are a couple little built-ins in between the living room and the dining area. Dining area has the corner windows. Um, to the left of the dining area is the remodeled kitchen. It has the checkered tile floors, nice high ceilings vaulted with a skylight, um, it, gas appliances, the, the Viking, oh, I thought it was Viking, it's a dynasty stove, but nice and vented, beautiful countertops, the Sub-Zero fridge, built-in dishwasher, um, a few more of just the open glass front, some nice custom tile work and a large sink. Um, to the right down there is actually going to be down into the finished basement, which I'll take you in a second, and the door to the side of the house um, where you can come in with the garage. So in between the living room and the kitchen is a little flex hallway area with some frosted glass doors. Um, this is where the two bedrooms are. First bedroom to the right, looks to the back, hardwood floors. A nice size closet, it does have a little bit of a step up in there. There's a little uh, built-in vintage linen, kind of medicine cabinet closet. Um, here is the bathroom once again with the, the hex tile floors, the, the higher subway tile wainscoting. Just like the kitchen, it is tall vaulted skylight to it. Um, they have a lot of the pedestal sink. A lot of the same higher end finishes like they have in the kitchen or here in the bathroom. Um, they have lots of little light switches with the dimmers on them. And then here is the second bedroom. Nice high ceilings, wood floors in here also. This one has a double door closet. Uh, slightly bigger than the first one and it does have some built-ins. I will take you guys now down into the basement. Um, the basement is finished down there and it looks like there is a, a living area down here too. They've done a lot of customization of the basement to make it very functional. So you come down into the laundry area. To the left there is, um, well actually there's some understair storage. To the left, there is a, a room that looks like they have um, as closet space, kind of longer room. Um, this opens up into the kind of the great room down here. It has uh, the linoleum tile floor. This does have the second fireplace down here. It is actually really large and um, you have the, the one window there, but with all the recessed light in here, it actually is nice and bright. So off of the laundry room, you have a half bathroom down here. And then they have converted this room to the back to be a large walk-in closet. Once again, they have, you know, their, their built-ins, but it's actually a quite a big size room down here. Just in case you wanted to see, water heater furnace and I think the electrical panel was maybe I saw one out in the garage but um, maybe it is down here someplace else here we have electric panel all right 